Welcome to Success Insider, a podcast for emerging leaders and anyone seeking motivation, inspiration, and business or career advancement. Brought to you by Success Magazine. Listen, learn, grow. This week, we have a special bonus episode for you. Listen in as Josh and Shelby talk about the December cover, Coach John Wooden. Plus, we interview Don Yeager about his relationship with Coach and the new Success Academy course, The Pyramid of Success, lessons for leading with character, courage, and collaboration. And now our hosts, Shelby Skirhawk and Josh Ellis. Shelby, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm awesome. You ready to uh, get going here? We got a kind of a special episode. I am ready. Yep. As I said, this should be a big one for our wonderful listeners. We talked a little bit already about our cover for the December issue that features the late iconic coach John Wooden. Okay. So admittedly, I didn't know a lot about John Wooden before. I mean, I was familiar with the name, but I don't follow college sports necessarily. So all I knew was that he was a big deal in that world, but I didn't have an idea of how big he really was. Yeah, he's easily, far and away, considered the greatest NCAA basketball coach of all time, and maybe just coach in general. In a lot of ways, greatest teacher in general. He led UCLA, the UCLA Bruins men's team, to a crazy amount of wins, 10 national championships. He was named the college coach of the year six times. I mean, his record is really unparalleled in that field. Well, and I think what the fascinating thing is, is that he he didn't really consider his job as coach to get wins. I mean, that wasn't his biggest belief. I mean, he really thought that his greatest responsibility was to turn his players into honorable, you know, upstanding young men. That's why he really wanted to prepare them for life beyond basketball, really. Yeah, and, th- and that's why he works for us as a cover guy. Even now, we're six years after he passed. Um, the lessons that he taught were so timeless and so just have meaning to anybody in any line of of work or life. They're about building character, right? really. And um, character can help you succeed in basketball. It can help you succeed in business. It can help you succeed in, like, a relationship with your friends or your family it can help you succeed in in mowing the lawn basically <laughs> is, is is the way his teachings worked and so he, he like i said he has some great principles and ideas that translate into any practice and here to talk to us about those principles as well as the new success academy course that brings them all together is the great don yeager don is a contributing editor for success a best-selling author and speaker, and he knew, was mentored by John Wooden personally. Don, thanks for joining us today to talk about Coach John Wooden and the new Success Academy course, The Pyramid of Success, Lessons for Leading with Character, Courage, and Collaboration. Thank you. It is, uh, it's, a, it's an honor to be with you all, and it's always an honor to talk about Coach Wooden. So for anyone out there who isn't familiar with Coach or hasn't had the chance yet to read um, the December cover story that you wrote for us, thank you very much, Don, um, tell us who is Coach John Wood. So he is, um, I love this one single fact. I mean, uh, several years ago, uh, Sporting News Magazine wanted to determine who's the greatest coach of all time. And the way they chose to go about it was by asking the best coaches alive today to to answer a single question, which was if you could uh, pick one person that your child could go play for in any sport, in any era, in, uh, in any gender, who who would that coach be that you would want to send your child to play for, knowing that you know, the best coaches are only going to send their child to play for the best. And John Wooden uh, won that balloting by almost a four to one margin over everybody else. And so the very best in his own profession would send their own family to play for him because he was not just a great tactician, he was an, an extraordinary uh, motivator. He knew how to get the best out of people. And I think that's what is, makes this course so special. He wasn't just the best coach. That Basketball was almost irrelevant. He was just this extraordinary leader. He knew how to take people places they didn't think they could get. And that's what we should all want to be, right, in, uh, in our own development, is to figure out how we can get the most out of others. 
Well, so tell us, how did you come to develop such a close relationship with uh, Coach and, and come to call him your mentor? Yeah, Coach, I was working at Sports Illustrated at the time as a writer, and I had heard a story that Coach was was serving as a mentor to a superstar NBA player, and I wanted to understand what that meant. I mean, he was 88 years old, the player was 26, and I asked if I could go sit in on one of their sessions, one of their conversations together. What I watched was not anything I expected. He was not talking about basketball in any way. He was talking about being a better father, about how to be a better teammate, right? As he walked this player through the thoughts and things that made him so special, the age gap suddenly went away. And it, and it was not about anything other than, you know, how can I help you be better? And as I got up from the conversation, I looked at Coach and I said, you know, Coach, this was extraordinary, but how does someone get mentored by someone like you? And his answer uh, was was two words. He looked back at me and he said, you ask. <laughs> And that was really revelatory because I realized that, you know, that's one of the challenges we have is most of us don't ask, right? We don't go out and intentionally look for mentors as we should. And then he, then I, I said, how many people ask? And he said, not as many as you might think. And that's the second big aha for me is that you're right. Great mentors aren't out there handing out business cards. They're waiting to be asked. And so a month later, I called him and I asked. And he said, I wonder what took you so long. <laughs> and uh, and we spent the next 12 years together in a relationship where every other month I flew to California uh, for a day with John Wooden, which was pretty extraordinary. And you wrote a book with Coach, A Game Plan for Life, The Power of Mentoring. Uh, so Coach was a mentor to a lot of great athletes and, and people in all sorts of fields. He also had a lot of valuable mentors of his own. Can you just talk more about his philosophy on needing and finding a mentor? Sure. Well, you know, the first thing he would say, uh, and again, it kind of gets back to this concept of mentorship, is that there's nothing that we'll learn that we don't, that we're not really going to learn from someone else, right? Whether it's by watching or learning or, or reading, uh, there's nothing we're going to learn, really. Mo most of the important things in life we're going to learn from someone else. And so in that sense, if, if, if that's true, our job is to go find the best people to learn from. And that's why we need to go find great mentors. But his greatest mentor was probably his father, who, you know, even though he suffered all kinds of major challenges and setbacks as a farmer in Indiana, always maintained this amazing attitude that it's not what happens to you, it's what you do with it. And he taught John Wooden that lesson, and Wooden taught that to hundreds of players. Who, then he taught it to thousands of business leaders, and now through you all, he's going to get a chance to teach it to many of those who are listening today. And I think that's pretty extraordinary that your life can live long past you if you live well. Well, and I think what's so extraordinary about Coach Wooden is, again, you, you mentioned this, that it, it, basketball was almost irrelevant. He wasn't teaching this game. He was, he was basically teaching life lessons. So what made his coaching style so unique and, and so I guess so different that his teams were really able to win so many championships? And he became you know, one of the most successful coaches in all time, but more so – he became one of the leading success thinkers outside of the sports world. Like, how did that happen? I think what made it work so well for him was simplicity, right? I mean, you know, there's, he's not trying to offer you some crazy formula. Uh, you know, he had a, he had a very simple, he had a very simple definition of success. For example, for him, success was the, uh, was the knowledge that you'd done the very best you could do on that particular day. Like I've been successful if I gave my very best today. And only you know if you've been successful, right? Only you know if you've truly given your best. But if you have, in his opinion, you've achieved success, no matter what the scoreboard says. So he shared with me that, you know, for, as a leader, sometimes he looked at the scoreboard and he realized his team won, but they didn't give their best. To the world, it might have been a victory, but to him, it wasn't. And sometimes he looked and he realized that his team had given his best, their best, but they lost. And so to him, that meant that it was successful. And he would actually argue with them, hey, look, Let's not pay attention to the scoreboard. Let's pay attention to what what our definition of success is, which is that we are that we have the self satisfaction. We know we have done the very best of which we're capable. And if you do that, it's such a simple twist on the concept of success that it allowed his players to daily, as he said, make each day as their masterpiece. And if you can work to do that every day, again, he just broke it down to the, to the small parts. And in doing that, he found great big time success. I love that uh, in the quote that accompanies the pyramid, uh, you always see it's it's basically it's it's the peace of mind that comes from that self-satisfaction. And I think peace of mind is 
uh, really what a lot of us ultimately see as, as success. And, and he definitely knew how to help people get there. And one of those ways was through the pyramid of success itself. And we have pictures of the pyramid on the wall here at the office. Um, there's a graphic of it in the December issue. Don, what is the pyramid of success really? So what the pyramid was, Coach Wooden actually started building it while he was a, um, a high school teacher uh, in the early 1900s. And he actually said, you know what, how can I help people climb to uh, their very best, right? And what he realized was it's not a, it's a process. We can't just, you know, we're not just going to go learn one thing and then suddenly we're going to be great. Um, you have to build fundamentally. He actually built a pyramid. He made adjustments to it over the course of the next 20 or 30 years. He, he moved blocks to different places. He decided, for example, that the foundation of any pyramid is its most important series of blocks. And, and he thought that the cornerstones of success really are industriousness or hard work and enthusiasm. But then he goes on to define it. Like, what does it mean to be properly enthusiastic, right? We, we've seen people who have actually cost themselves opportunities for success by not bridling their enthusiasm, by not knowing how to do it properly. So Coach goes through all of these blocks of his pyramid to get you to the peak. And his peak was what he called competitive greatness. And that's when you have the ability uh, to be at your very best when your best is needed. And that's what we want, right? We want to be able to bring it. That's the, you know, today's phrase, we want to bring it. Well, you want to, to bring it, you have to be at your best. But in order to be at your best, you have to do these other things in order to be fundamentally sound so that you're ready. So Coach's Pyramid is this really wonderful it's just a, a thought process of how do we get to the peak? And that's what I love about it is it's simple and you can look at it and master it yourself. You don't need some guru to walk you through it, right? I think one of the things that I love most about this course is that it's the opportunity to actually have Coach Wooden walk you through it. I, I mean, I'm involved in it and I love it, but it's the video of Coach Wooden, that much of which has never been seen before, where he walks you through his pyramid that I think makes this thing so special. You said it exactly, that what makes the pyramid so special is that it's really a, a game plan for life. It kind of sounds like a cliche, but it's so true. I mean, I, I think today when we're all so interested in bringing out our best self and and finding and improving the traits that, that lead to success, I think that it's amazing that there's this, this pyramid, this diagram that lists out all of the, the traits that a successful person would have. And, and it, it even shows kind of the order that you need to, you know, start with these cornerstones, like you said, and then build your way up to competitive greatness. And I know that competitive greatness didn't necessarily mean winning, right? Like it wasn't just about the final score, like you said. Well, I, yeah, and I think that's what makes it so, as you said, it's so cool is that it, it really is, it's functional, right? You can actually work your way through it and, and you can't, you can't start at the top, right? I mean, many people want to be great. They want to be competitively great. I want to be the very best in my space. But the truth is, uh, like, like you said, I mean, John Wooden's pyramid is very thoughtful in that it, to get here, you have to work on this. And, and I love the idea. You know, he, he admits openly that he adjusted it many times over the years because he, he wanted to make sure that it always was relevant, but, but ultimately he settled in on the, on the ones that he has, and that's what made it so special. The course is a great resource for anybody that, that wants to learn from, as we've said, like the greatest mentor of all time. But I, I think, honestly, one of the things that also makes this a, a, you know an awesome opportunity for people who seek success is that Don, you're you're hosting this course. I mean, you're the one you're driving the bus, and the fact that you had that personal relationship with Coach, you knew him so well for for all those years. I want to know more about that. What were you know one or two of the biggest lessons that he taught you that factor into your business and you know your life success journey? So again, I had this 12 year relationship where I got a chance to go out regularly, and I've told the story a couple times. But it, one thing that really stood out to me is that so Coach was 98 at the time. And, um, and I had no idea. Every time I left, I wasn't sure, is this the last time I'll see him, right? Is this the last time I'll get a chance to be in his presence? And so um, I was leaving that day and I wasn't sure. And so I actually said to him, I said, coach, you know, every time I leave you, I feel like I'm a better man than when I arrived. Now, if you said that to me or most people, right, their, their immediate reaction would be, oh, shucks, that's awesome. Thank you. That's really kind words. And instead, John Wooden looked at me and he said, Don, I hope you'll make that your standard. 
Hmm. And I thought, what a powerful lesson, right? Our job, if we're going to be great, is to leave everyone that we get a chance to interact with better than when they, than when we arrive, than when they arrive. Whatever it is, whenever our relationship starts, they should leave it better when it's over. Um, whether it's for a day or a lifetime. And, uh, and I love that coach Wooden just made that point to me. I, I need to be consistently leaving other people better. And then the other thing I would, you know, if you asked for two, I would say the second thing he said to me regularly was you'll never outperform your inner circle. That if you want to be great, you have to constantly be developing the circle of people around you and improving the circle around you. And that means sometimes finding new people, right? Sometimes discarding some people, <laughs> but it's about finding the right circle. And Coach Wood made that a point, and I've I make that my uh, my New Year's my New Year's resolutions are are not what they used to be. Now I now I focus my New Year's window on my circle. Who's in it? Do, are they going where I'm going? D- does my circle need to be adjusted? So he he impacted me in so many ways. Shelby, it says something that Don's still got time for us. Though, right. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> well, so Don, you know, Success Academy has brought together all of Coach's ideas and lessons into this 10-module course. So what do you feel the course has to offer those listening, you know, the business owners and entrepreneurs and you economy people? Like, what can they learn from it? I think what they can learn, you know, I loved – um, Bill Walton inter- did an interview. So it's not just coach talking. It's not just me talking. There's actually 40 of the very best, some of the greatest winners of all time. Joe Torre from the New York Yankees, Bill Walton. Some of the greatest winners of all time have sat down to talk for if, at, to interview with us for this course uh, on what they learned from coach, how he shaped them. And so I think what you see here, it's a simple outline on how you can drive yourself to higher achievement. But but in that outline, it's not just taught by coach or me, it's taught by some of the people who have actually executed on it and found unparalleled success. I mean, some of the very best of all time say, John Wooden taught me. And Bill Walton said during our interview, he had this great line. He said, uh, you know, our job is to constantly be looking for master coaches, right? We should all be looking every day to be coached by someone why not start with the master of all masters, right? <laughs> the best of all time. And that's John Wooden. As Shelby was saying, his lessons are applicable not only to athletes. You, you mentioned, uh, you know, Joe Torre and Bill Walton, but we've got this awesome infographic in the issue where we, we list, uh, you know, people in so many of these fields. And, and in business, you're talking about like Howard Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks, and Bill Gates and uh, Jim Senegal from Costco. I mean, these are huge, successful companies. You know, can you tell us a little bit more about the outpouring of support that you've, you know, witnessed while working with Success Academy to build this course? Like, what are, what are some other folks that you talked to about Coach? The, the best part about it was uh, we, we didn't get turned out by, I mean, basically, anybody that we really wanted to sit down and talk to who, who has in some time previously professed an understanding that Coach Wooden's definitions and his pyramid were impactful in them. When we reached out to them, people said yes. They couldn't wait to dial in. They couldn't wait to be part of the interview process. And, and I think that's that speaks volumes, right? We're talking about enormously busy people who have crazy lives and just as a favor, right? As a favor to Coach Wooden's family and that because they're the beneficiaries of of uh, a part of this program, these greats said, yes, my hand is up. Please bring the camera crew. I want to sit down and talk. And they did so in some r- really unique, I mean, Tom Izzo, who, you know, the great Mich- Michigan State basketball coach was being inducted into the, into the, in the basketball hall of fame. And so that's a pretty crazy day. You're being inducted in the hall of fame. And he said, that's the best day. Have the crew there. And we'll talk about coach Wooden while he's celebrating his own personal achievement of success, he said, I want to talk about John Wooden on that day. And that way, you know, so I, I think that's what I, you're right. There's, there's business leaders, uh, there's sports leaders, there's athletes, there's thought leaders, John Maxwell, you know, a huge, uh, huge partner in the success uh, in the success franchise, you know, sat down and, you know, Ken Blanchard, the very best of the best sat down to say, this man changed me. So Don, if you could, boil down, I think, everything that's great about Coach Wooden into one simple thought or phrase. What would that be? I think it was Coach's, it was, it was my favorite quote from Coach, uh, which was, make each day your masterpiece. You know, he, he had a big point. And I love it because it's such a simple quote. It, it's, it's emblematic of everything I would want to tell you about Coach Wooden. Simple, right? It sounds so simple. Make each day your masterpiece. But the truth is, that's really complicated. 
because to build a masterpiece day, you have to plan for it. You have to, you have to execute upon that plan. You have to, you have to do so with grace and, and all of the things that you, that it's required of you to, to have a masterpiece day. It's complicated, but when you do it, what happens is you, you string a few of them together. You have a masterpiece week and you string a few of those together. You got a masterpiece year. And that, that was the goal. He broke it down to, to its core, right? Make each day your masterpiece. And if you can do that, Man, amazing things are ahead for you. Yeah, simple idea, but as you said, there's a lot to it and a lot that you can learn about how to do that from the brand new Success Academy course. The Pyramid of Success will be available beginning November 15th. You can learn more at thewoodeneffect.com. Don, thanks so much, man. Josh, Shelby, it's always an honor to be with you. Thank you. Josh, so at the wooden effect.com, we've got a great hey, page. This is an audio medium. Will you spell effect for me? Because I am an editor of a national magazine point. and I get this backwards sometimes. Effect and effect? Yes, I have no idea. Which is it? It's effect. a good thing we have a copy editor. <laughs> The wooden... that, that's the one thing I actually usually do get right. <laughs> I don't always get lay and lie right, but I can usually yeah. get effect and effect. The wooden effect. E F F E C T dot. C O M. That I can spell. I think we're going to have to always refer to it as the effect. Yeah. Uh, so on the site, and, and this site is actually kind of a collaboration of the success team with Success Academy and, and in partnership really with the Wooden family. So yeah. we've pr- we produced this website full of content, uh, videos, and we've got a page of motivational quotes. And we love our motivational quotes around here. You might have heard these called Woodenisms. Yeah, it, he, was, uh, he was quite a pundit. Like yeah. he had a way... Yeah of as as Don mentioned in the interview he had a way of of really drilling down to the real lesson in just a few words right. and so yeah we got we got some woodenisms let's go over a few of these all right well so i'm going to start with my absolute favorite and it is if you don't have time to do it right when will you have time to do it over isn't that a great point yeah it's like the uh you know, measure twice, cut once. Yeah. It's an excellent point because if you just kind of slap something together, then guess what? You're looking at a second and a third and a fourth draft. Right. So that, yeah, that's, that's a great insight for anybody in, in making podcasts for one <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and anything you do. Yeah. All right. You tell me, Josh, what's, uh, what's one of your favorite woodenisms? All right. How about this? Things turn out best for the people who make the best of the way things turn out. So clever. I get that. Yeah, and it's it's true. Right. Like, um, you know, a lot of times you can't really deal with your circumstance. And and I'm not a big believer in, in luck. I mean, it exists, but I, I, I think that we, in a way, make our own luck. And our outlook on how good luck or bad luck falls to us uh, has a lot to do with, with how happy and how successful, ultimately, that we are. And how you can frame things. I mean, if you think that everything is, is going wrong and everything is against you, you know what? It probably will end up being that way. But if you're trying to make the best out of things, then, then I think things might turn out better for you. Here's some other great motivational quotes from John Wooden to share. Be more concerned with your character than your reputation, because your character is what you really are, while your reputation is merely what others think you are. A couple of famous ones, make each day your masterpiece. Don mentioned that one. Smart, smart, really insightful one. Uh, and then never lie, never cheat, never steal. That's probably the basis for a uh, character that has defined humanity for you know thousands of years, right? I love this one. Talent is God-given, be humble. Fame is man-given, be grateful. Conceit is self-given, be careful. And we'll wrap up here. The best competition I have is against myself to become better. All right, Josh, well, that about does it for us. A reminder that the Success Academy course, The Pyramid of Success, Lessons for Leading with Character, Courage, and Collaboration, featuring John Wooden, is available beginning November 15th. It's a 10-module course packed with hour after hour of valuable content and lessons. And it's really for anybody in the field looking to become their best self and discover how they can be their most successful self. Find more information at thewoodeneffecteffect.com. Great lessons for just about anybody. 
And thank you for joining us for this special episode of Success Insider. I'm Josh. And I'm Shelby. We'll talk to you next week.